Spidey and his amazing friends, the Lost Web Shooter. Spidey was swinging through the city when he heard an alarm. It was the villain Doc Ock, stealing three big bags of money from an armored car. Spidey said, drop the loot. That money isn't yours. Doc Ock wanted to slow Spidey down, so she used her super strong tentacles to throw a flower cart at him. Doc Ock ran into a nearby park and hid one bag of money in a tree. Spidey caught up with the villain and used his web shooter's thwip to get one of the bags back. But Spidey and Doc Ock played tug of war with the third bag. This is getting tiring, the villain said, pulling as hard as she could. Spidey fell back and hit a streetlight, knocking one of the web shooters off his arm. Spidey used his other web shooter to web up Doc Ock. And then he returned the money to the armored car driver. They didn't realize that there was still a bag of money missing, but Spidey did realize that he needed to find his web shooter. Just then, Miles Morales called Spidey on their comm link to tell him that Aunt May wanted him to help her in the garden. That gave Spidey an idea. He used the comm link to call Trace E, the robot, and the two smaller bots, Twirl E and Twist E. He asked them to find his missing web shooter. Beep, beep. The robots were happy to help. Meanwhile, in her secret lair, Doc Ock was untangling the last of Spidey's webbing from her tentacles. That annoying spider ruined my plan again, she grumbled. But that gave her an idea. She would send her Octobot Cal to get the bag of money she had hidden in the tree. At that same moment, a brother and sister, Will and Lizzie, were finding something in the park. It was blue and red and had a picture of a spider on it. Will pressed the button, thwip, and webbing shot out. It must be Spidey's web shooter, Lizzie said excitedly. Will and Lizzie used the web shooter thwip to help a boy get his kite out of a tree, and then they ran off to see what else they could do with it. The kids didn't realize that Cal had seen them, and so had Doc Ock. The villain said, that's Spidey's web shooter. I must get it. She ordered Cal to steal the web shooter and bring it to her. Cal easily took the web shooter from Will and ran away, but not before Trace E, Twirly, and Twisty arrived. They immediately called Spidey on the comm link. Peter was busy helping Aunt May plant flowers. Luckily, she had to go to the store. And that meant he could slip away as Spidey to save the day. In the park, Tracy had taken the web shooter from Cal, but then Doc Ock showed up. The robots were no match for the villain's tentacles, and Doc Ock snatched the web shooter away. Now I can web up those pesky superheroes once and for all, Doc Ock shouted. You're not going anywhere, Spidey said, swinging onto the scene. Doc Ock tried to use Spidey's web shooter against him. Thwip! But Spidey easily avoided the webbing. Doc Ock ordered Cal to slow Spidey down so she could web him. If we had webs, we could tie that robot up, Will said to Lizzie. That gave Lizzie an idea. She asked the kid with the kite if they could borrow his string. She and Will tied it between two trees and... It tripped Cal as Trace E, Twirl E, and Twist E chased him. Lizzie and Will quickly used the rest of the string to tie Cal up tight. Doc Ock turned to help Cal, and that gave Spidey a chance to web her up good thwip 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 and get his web shooter back. Doc Ock struggled against the webbing, shaking the tree she was stuck to. The bag of money she had hidden in the tree fell to the ground. Another plan ruined, Doc Ock said. Spidey said he would return the money to the bank. Just then, Will and Lizzie's mom came down the path. She was amazed at all the activity going on. You should be really proud, Spidey told her. 
The kids, along with Trace E, Twirly, and Twisty, had used teamwork and quick thinking to save the day. 